Maybe Neil Sean and Steve Perry can have virtual coffee on the air with Eddie Trunk. And I'll tell you what I mean. Coming right up. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, Gary Stuckey here. Welcome back to another episode of Steve Perry News. Happy 4th of July to you. And first of all, uh, there's like this cardinal earlier uh, watching me. And I think you know what that means. A little inside thing there. But anyway, uh, I, I just did a video. Did a whole video, long video, about... Uh, what happened yesterday, if you haven't heard, go check out my latest video uh, about Steve Perry came online, said he didn't want his uh, song, you know, well, he's part owner of that song, Don't Stop Believing. He didn't want it used at uh, any rallies, not just Trump, but any rally. Some people took it too far. They thought they were talking about Trump. They turned it back on Steve. But I think he just wanted to keep the peace between both sides all fans, because if you do that, if you say, hey, I'm this, I'm, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm for this guy, I believe in this, and then you lose fans and it causes division, and this, you know, that's not cool. So, I get that, you know. So, Steve came on and uh, and, and, and tweeted that. Well, then, uh, Neil today, earlier today, came on there uh, and said this uh, tweet right here. Let's read this. Okay, Neil replies, he says, Huh, funny when I tried to stop it before, a couple of years ago, management told me you and Lee Phillips, Lee Phillips is Steve's lawyer, uh, didn't want to mess with it. So what makes it different now, says Neil. Okay, so there you go. Uh, so Neil's saying it happened uh, a couple years ago. I think it was some kind of... Uh, convention or something and they use the song don't stop believing and uh for whatever reason at the time i guess steve didn't it didn't matter at the time if they used it or not you know but we all know the story about how some of the journey members uh, journey members went to uh the white house and uh and saw you know president trump and um neil at the time wasn't happy about that because you know once again that causes controversy and in, in, in division you know division between uh, fans and we all know that uh, Jonathan Cain uh, and his wife are uh, for Trump and uh, she's like the spiritual advisor but you know and even then Neil and, and Jonathan seem to be on the same page now so they look beyond that so we know that Neil even though some people today took it as Neil was being a jerk or something all he was doing is pointing out the fact that they're on the same page. That's the bottom line. They're on the same page. So now I, I did a video about this. I'm like, hey, this is a good setup for coffee, right? They're on the same page. They need to sit down, talk this over, you know, and we all uh, as fans need to appreciate that. Just enjoy the music. And as people quit listening to all the negativity, don't believe everything you hear on the, you know, the media might be your enemy when it comes to politics, just remember that they want to divide us. We don't need to be divided. This right here, my friends, these two guys, uh, they're working on something, you know, that, that's not causing division. It sounds like a promise, you know, and, and a hope, you know. And uh, somebody's shooting fireworks to celebrate, I guess, uh, or a cannon. But, uh... So then, uh, as I was doing the uh, video uh, about maybe those guys having coffee and working things out and being on the same page, Neil, Sean, tweets this. Look forward to talking soon, Eddie. Maybe we can get Steve to join us. Just saying it would be interesting to fans. So now he wants to uh, chat with Eddie Trunk. With Steve. That sounds like a good idea. I've actually suggested that. Hint, hint. I talked to uh, Eddie Trunk about a month ago about this very thing, about uh, Steve and Neil working on something together. 
and maybe that's just part of the plan. Maybe that's the hope. Maybe that cardinal over there will be happy. But uh, there you go. I mean, sit down and talk. Have coffee. And if you disagree, agree to disagree. But talk it out. Right? And maybe Don't Stop Believing will become more than just an anthem. It'll become a way of life. And maybe it will stir up something in all of us. And maybe cause some uh, things to happen. And maybe somewhere some people just might finally get their wish. Hey, whatever you do, don't stop believing everybody. This is Gary Stuckey. God bless you.